Hey, so today we are going to talk about scale copies. We started our second unit, which is thinking about scale drawings and scale copies. So we began with this setup. We've got something that's basically like a funhouse mirror. We have our guy and his original portrait, and then we have things that we can do to him. So he, his portrait can be manipulated this way. It can be manipulated this way. This way. Like this or like this. So the question is which of these are actually scale copies? And it comes down to what it means to be a copy. A copy needs to be exactly the same in most meaningful ways. It needs to look the same as that original picture. Um, so A, for example, he can get super squished, which means that he doesn't look like that original person anymore. B can get super squished in the other direction, and E, as he slants and tilts, he no longer looks like he's exactly the same guy. Something's been manipulated. C and D, however, just look like you've taken that photo and you've either shrunk it down or you've blown it up. This kind of enlargement or mm, diminishment um, is what we would call scaling. So it's a copy because it's exactly the same shape but it is a scaled copy because the size has changed. So same shape, different size. Original portrait, C and D would all be scale copies. So then the question is, what can we do with that if we have some letters? And here we can get a little bit subtler because if you're looking at this grid, if our original is here, um, we notice right away drawing four that's slanted just like that guy was in the portrait that is not going to be the same what else doesn't look like it's the same drawing three looks like it's a lot shorter and longer um, and something that people noticed in particular was that this top f bar and this bottom f bar are almost the same length where over here the top f bar was actually twice as long as the bottom f bar so drawing three is not a scale copy. If you take that similar idea, thinking about the top and bottom of the f-bars, bringing it down to drawing six, the top and the bottom are actually the same length. Well, that's not the case in the original, so this is not a copy. So then we come to these ones that all look pretty similar to the original. Uh, looking at the f-bar ends up being a useful way to distinguish which ones are actually copies of that original. So let's pay attention to the parts. The top F bar is too long, and the bottom F bar is one long. And then we have the entire thing is two above the F bar and two below the F bar, if we're looking at the distance on the grid line. Looking at drawing one, we have three for the top F bar. We have one, and it goes a little further, one and a half. And I can't do that though. Yep. One and a half. And then we have three above the F bar and three below the F bar. In drawing two, it's one, two, three, four. And the bottom F bar is too long. And then we have four above the F bar and four below the F bar. So if we start to notice something, looking at those F bars, in all three of these, the top F bar is exactly twice as long as the bottom F bar, two to one three to one and a half, four to two. That's useful. These match in some way. Then if you look at the sides, two, two and two on the sides, three on the top, three and three on the sides, four on the top, four and four on the sides. So the side, the, um, side of that F is twice as long as the top of that F. Now that means that these are just blown up versions of that original. They are exactly the same shape. They've not been distorted in any way. Let's come down and look at five. It's three and the bottom F bar is too long. Interesting, too long in drawing five, too long in drawing two. Can they both have the same F bar and be the same shape? Well, no, because if you look at the top, it's, it's three long, which is not twice as long as that bottom F bar. So this one we can already count out because it's not the same shape as the original drawing one and drawing two. Bringing it down to drawing seven, if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
we would expect this to be 3, and it is 1, 2, 3. Beautiful. And then we would want this to be 6 above the F bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 6 below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you look at the questions on the side, the things that are scale copies, they are exactly the same shape. The only thing that's changed is how big they are. But in all like ways of relationships between the parts, they're the same. Now if we look at number two, we notice that they compare to the original because all of them have to do with doubling the top and bottom f-bar, and then all of those top f-bars are related to the side length as well. Okay. So then if I wanted to make the another scale copy, I know that I need to hmm, maybe start with my top. So let's see, I've done three and four, but I haven't done a top of five, so they have a top of five. Um, if it's five across, it needs to be five down, and then five down again. And then halfway down was that bottom F bar, but if it's five here, it would need to be two and a half. So that's a bigger version. On the other hand, if I wanted a smaller one, what if it was only one? Well, then I would have one. Oh. Nope. And I would want one and one, and this one is only going to be able to be a half, to make it half. And that might not really show very well. It's not liking it very much. But I could only come halfway in order to be half of that top F bar. Okay? So scale copies have exactly the same shape, but they're in a different size.